Hello and welcome to another DMM Games training card unboxing. Today with set number, I think four, we will find out. We have to look at the, the card and as always, I don't know the Japanese game this box is inspired or like, uh, yeah, belongs to. I would guess like from some JRPG or mobile game as in the past. But yeah, my, my DMM boxes were pretty nice recently, so I hope we can... Okay, uh, yeah, I hope this one will be nice too. And we start with a promising... <clears throat> with a promising box topper. And yeah, the set is DMM05. Yeah, sweet. Uh, there are serialized cards from 1 to 63, if I remember correctly. And yeah, lower rarity cards, or the lower rarities are super rare and VR. In the past, I think I got one super rare per box. And yeah, secret rares are only two different types. And the, the secret rares are, yeah, two different types and only only available as serialized cards, so you cannot pull the artworks of the artworks of the secrets without the numbers, so they are exclusive to the serialized cards. And yeah, we got some some nice artwork in the set. I don't know if I will include this in my Egyptian themed TCG collection. I don't see like any Ankh symbols or Eye of Horrors or anything. But yeah, <laughs> it looks it looks promising. Okay, we get some of these chibi artworks. Maybe these are the characters in the game. Sometimes they look a little bit more simplistic for the game graphics and uh, maybe if it's maybe if it is a, a mobile game. It probably has to be a little bit more simplistic. We get the slime. Okay, so the background is just like the random wallpaper. It's not like there is a, um, uh, yeah, anything going on between the character and the background or the environment. This is something I don't like about DMM games. Just like the uh, in video games, when you have like a character selection, you can just pick between the characters and yeah. I mean, the, the background is changing, different locations, but it feels so random how the, the characters are not uh, interacting with the, with the background. Oh, but the, but the character designs are nice. Looks like this set is again a little bit more loot. Sometimes they they are quite calm, like for Japanese standards, uh, not that loot at all. But some sometimes sometimes the boxes are borderline anti. Just another rare. But I do like the foiling. When you tilt the card, you can see there's some kind of like pixelation. So for once we have these uh, sun rays foiling or like this X, looks like this X uh, foiling. And at the same time, there is this pixelated effect going on, these squares. Also look, <laughs> but there is like from the foil, it looks like this is not in the artwork, this looks like in the hollow foil. Like this is where two two layers or two different sheets coming together. I don't know. We get more slime. I don't know. Seeing these these slime characters always re will always remind me of uh, Genshin Impact. Yeah. Nice, nice character design. And then this artwork actually looks like the character is standing there, so... Nice. Nice, nice, nice. 
I haven't looked into the, or at least I don't remember. I probably have looked a month ago into a card gallery of this set. But I don't remember the serialized artworks, if they are super nice looking, as in the in set number eight I opened before. Where I was super lucky with my with my pull. I hope if, if you haven't watched all my DMM videos, you you should really watch them. They are probably like the best unboxings or yeah. Where I got the the most lucky feels like in on all from all my, my videos on YouTube probably. I got quite lucky sometimes and the card card artworks look amazing. At least from the higher higher character. And we get the new background, at least I don't remember seeing this before. A knight character with the rose. There are like one or two. I think there are two sets I will not be opening since uh, the first set when I started to get into DMM game boxes. Uh, there were already a lot of releases, like nine or something. So I was pretty late with the TCG and the first box was already expensive or sold out. So I haven't picked it up by now. I don't know if I will ever will uh, pick it up. Since there aren't like many boxes available anymore and it's... They will probably not be dropping in price anymore. And there's also one set, was it set number 10? Uh, where I just I just don't like the art style. It's just I looked at the card gallery and was like, okay, this is uh, this is something I can live without. So I don't feel the need. So of course, a part of me who wants to open every set and who has no feeling for money and the bank account wants to open it anyway. But I don't know. I feel like there are other other TCGs or other boxes I would rather spend my money on. So yeah, probably will not be opening these two. Don't think we have pulled a super... Okay, I just wanted to complain. Just wanted to say, like, I don't think we have pulled a super rare so far. And sometimes you can look over them. They don't look really different that much from from rare cards like when you just put them to the side oh and again we have here this uh, this effect that doesn't belong in the artwork which looks like from the hollow foil but yeah comparing these two you, you cannot really tell which one is the the more rare version but yeah, the one on my left is uh, the super rare, which is only one per box. I don't remember if pulling a super rare means that you don't have a secret. Maybe I, I just I have to watch my my old videos again to see if uh, they take the same slot. And we get duplicates. Opening multiple boxes can feel a little bit boring since uh, yeah the sets are quite small. Like you have ten, yeah you can see we have fifteen different rares, which are the foil cards, ten VRs, and five super rares. So chances are pretty high that you you get multiple duplicates in the in the rare or VR. And I I do miss like one VR. With has, uh, which has an Egyptian inspired artwork from set number seven, I think seven. And I did open five boxes and I just didn't pull the VR. Even if there are, there are four, four VR cards per box. So in total, I pulled 20 VRs. There are only 10 different in this set, but for some reason, I don't know. I just wasn't able to pull the VR 
that I needed for my Egyptian collection. And now I I really don't feel like open more loose boxes, so probably have to wait and try to just buy the the singer card. Another rare. But yeah, singer cards from this TCGs are not that easily available, at least from the big side. And you usually buy from the Japanese cards, they they aren't. And just a rare command card. She looks not happy with her driving. Already sees her death in front of them. Two more packs. And I totally forgot to take out a Force of Will pack, but I have the box somewhere behind me and I'm... I just have to grab the pack. Since I'm still looking for my Anubis card. Oh, another VR card. But yeah, no... No bigger hit this time, but quite some nice artworks. Oh yeah, let's try to, to find Anubis finally. Man, I just have one. After this box, I just have one more box, so... I just hope it's in in these last boxes. Or I have to buy the, the singer card. It's a burning bird. So yeah, thank you for watching. For more unboxings, please check out my channel and see you in my next unboxing. Bye!